Hey everyone, I'm Nick in the States and today let's talk about the Gibson memory cable. I think the part number is the GCR05. And it looks a lot like this. What Gibson did is they partnered with Tascam to make a kind of a preamp guitar recording built right into the cable. They use their normal Gibson high-end cable that uh, I think General Cable builds for them as a subcontractor um, or an OEM. And uh, it's a 16 foot long cable. This little guy, it's powered by some funky little battery and a AA battery. And it uses a micro SD chip, which is actually got a little slot right there to put in there. Comes with a four gigabyte one. You can go up to 16 or 32 gigs, I believe. But the four gig gives you, I think like 13 hours and change of recording. Um, and what its purpose is, from my understanding, is so you don't miss the magic. Um, plug it in, hit record, jam, work on your ideas, work on your songs, work on all that kind of stuff. Then spit out the memory card, plug it into your computer. They give you a micro SD to SD adapter so you can slip it right in your computer. Um, also comes with a cool little uh, quick reference cheat card that um, because there, there isn't a screen on it or anything, there's really only a, I'll power it on. There's really only two little displays. Basically, you've got a little blue light, which when it blinks, it means that it's reading from the card or it's doing some activity. And when I hit the record, I get a little red light that you can see came on hopefully in the light there that tells me it's recording what I'm playing. And it has two recording modes. It has a continuous one that set it, forget it, keep playing, stop, creates one big file. And then auto. And auto, what auto does is as you're playing, it'll record what, um, whenever your guitar is actually being played, trail out for a second or two, wait, and then play, uh, pick up again at, right before you start playing again. So it's obviously got some kind of cache buffer so that it doesn't have to catch up or, or catches you before you've struck a string. Um, so kind of neat. Uh, it's 44, ki 44 kilohertz, 16-bit um, mono wave files that it records. Saves them as a dot wave, so you can drop them into whatever audio editing program you want to use, or um, just drag them right into iTunes and maybe um, send them to your iPhone, something like that, to listen to in the car, maybe as you're looking for ideas. Um, things to keep in mind for that is that it's preamped, so it's the sound of your guitar. So it might not be the best thing to record like crunch, 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 you know, metal, crazy, whatever runs, unless it's the clean things that are key. But for like your rhythm, crunchy crunch stuff or whatever, you're going to miss out on all the distortion and the drive and, and that kind of thing. So that's something to, to keep in mind. Um, the, uh, so, but still very, you know, cool, useful thing. Um, I'm actually recording right now, so I'll hit stop. But everything's driven by this one little guy here. And so one press to record, press to stop. Um, if you hold it, like fin say you finish your continuous recording, you played something really cool, you want to remember it, or tag it, as they call it, you can hold it down. It'll stop the file, create a new file, and now it's tagged the other one as being something cool for you to revisit later. Um, there's no real file management on here. So you're going to fill up the card, and in order to clear it out, you want to go to your computer and, and, and do it up. Um, but aside from that, it's, it's pretty straightforward. And what I'm going to do now is just do a couple little runs. Um, you'll catch it through the, the mic here off of my, uh, my hot rod amp. Um, And now I'll play the same riff that as it's recorded exactly on the cable and drop it in through the wonders of post editing. With mono hands. Hooray! Um, so it's kind of cool. Now one last little idea, so you've got it recorded there and if I drop it in GarageBand, add a little drive to it, you get something like this.
So you kind of get the picture. You know, good quality. It's in there, pretty easy. Um, as a sound sketching tool, I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, they go for about 100 bucks at Guitar Center. I got mine on eBay. New uh, for a pretty good deal at 80. Um, you know, I was a little let down uh, in my rush to purchase, and I think I watched some videos early on. I missed that there's no play button. <laughs> so it'll record everything to the cable, but I really wanted to be able to hit play and have it replay it out my amp. Or even better, unplug, plug in one of my other amps. And I could take one kind of sound, sit there on the floor, hit play, and keep driving it through, um, kind of like a, a reverse DI or something like that, and hear it in each of, of the amps that I've got kind of set up. Um, it doesn't do that. It's so kind of a letdown. And I've recorded this video three or four times, and I think I've purged most of the disappointment of my own stupidity and inability to read features. Most. Um, that said, that would make it kind of cool. Um, and then the fact that, of course, it's recording not what, you know, as the, the amp sounds, it, it limits getting kind of the feel and the neat things of, of what you've done. Now, Devil's Advocate would say that the great thing is, is you can hear more exactly what you've played and not what the amp has done. So if you know the idea is cool and you like the way you played it, you can actually hear kind of the notes and the little things that are in there instead of the amp squealing and doing whatever over it. Um, so maybe to help you reverse engineer later to figure out what the hell you were doing, maybe that works. Um, all in all, I don't know if I'm going to use it very much, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I think if I was recording ideas in today's day and age, I'd put my iPhone on record on the speaker next to it. I've got it with me at all times. It'll record pretty well, a low volume. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to use it very much. In fact, it may end up back on eBay <laughs> at some point in the very near future with a tag used once and video proof that, uh, that might be the case. Or maybe I'll give it away when I reach my 500th subscriber, but with this video, it's like, yay, thanks. You gave us something that you didn't like. Um, I don't know. We've got a lot of time till I get to 500. Uh, thanks for the 265 that have subscribed. You guys are awesome. Um, and I'll keep putting out videos on neat stuff. I had a few moments tonight to put this guy out. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's an interesting idea. Interesting cable. Um, we'll, see, uh, we'll see where it goes down the road. As always, I'm Nick in the States, and I've got issues. Thanks for stopping by, guys.